Our first award tonight is the Pro Bono Partner Award. While many law firms partner with NVLSP, this year's honoree, Kirkland & Ellis, has been a true partner in advancing our pro bono work, utilizing its expertise and resources to assist our nation's veterans. Please join me in recognizing Kirkland & Ellis, our 2014 Pro Bono, bono Partner of the Year honoree. And Michael Pogoreski is going to say you. All right. Thank you so much for coming here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. If you want to make a couple of remarks, please. Sure. Do. Wait a minute here. We're going to photo. Oh, photo. photo. <laughs> do you want me, should, I, should, should I duck? Do you want me? <laughs> do you want me in it? Okay. Well, if you insist. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you to the NVLSP for this honor and to your excellent staff and all your volunteers who do such great work fulfilling our nation's commitment to our veterans. <clears throat> Excuse me. I served as a Naval Flight Officer in Operations Enduring Freedom in Southern Watch prior to attending law school. And one of the key milestones I and probably every other veteran remember clearly is raising our right hand to take the oath of service right before some drill instructor got in our face to yell at us. Now when troops enlist, they sign a contract containing mundane details about their enlistment, such as their length of service, their rank, any training schools they were promised, and any bonuses or benefits that would be provided. But after signing that contract at the induction ceremony, troops make a much graver commitment in the form of the oath of enlistment in which they raise their right hand and solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution and obey all orders from the President of the United States. In doing so, they essentially write a blank check and say, I give my body and soul, I will go wherever you tell me to go, and I will do whatever you tell me to do, and I will make whatever sacrifice you ask that is necessary in defense of this great country. Now, unspoken is an equally solemn reciprocal promise to the soldier that he or she will be properly looked out for, properly led, and if harmed while standing the watch, the soldier and his or her family will be taken care of. Unfortunately, that promise to our injured veterans is often difficult to effectuate. The services, the Department of Defense, and the VA, they are large bureaucracies, and as many of you know, working with them can be challenging at times. But make no mistake, this commitment, this sacred vow to take care of our injured veterans is not one made on behalf of the Army, it's not one made on behalf of the VA, it's not even one made on the government as a whole. It is a promise from the American people that we will take care of our fellow citizens harmed while protecting and defending our nation and its many blessings. It is this commitment that the attorneys at Kirkland & Ellis and so many of you here today have undertaken to fulfill. I'm proud to report that to date, 246 Kirkland lawyers, staff, and summer associates have do donated nearly 8,500 pro bono hours to providing assistance to more than 115 veterans. Kirkland also sponsors, along with its client Raytheon, a full-time fellow at NVLSP, who is assisting veterans who are survivors of military sexual trauma, as well as those who need assistance in obtaining earned benefits. There is no pro bono initiative at any of our 12 offices worldwide that commands more universal support than our veterans assistance projects. And lawyers at our firm who have never before done any pro bono work on any matter have stepped up to volunteer on these matters. We are Kirkland are glad that we are able to do our part to fulfill a solemn promise. And I'm confident that I speak on behalf of every attorney in this room who have volunteered to assist veterans that it was an honor and a privilege to do so. But we can do more, and every lawyer and law firm and organization in this room can and should do more. We hope to attend this dinner next year with double the hours and double the volunteers, and what we really look forward to is a day in the future when there is no longer a need for this kind of work at all. We thank the NVLSP for this special recognition, and we accept it not just as a congratulations, but as a challenge to ourselves and to others in the community to put our service members and their needs, legal and otherwise, at the very top of our priority list. Thank you very much.